the last four years, you have promised to repeal and replace Obamacare, but you have never in these four years come up with a plan, a comprehensive plan yes, to I replace have. Obamacare. Of course I have. Well, I'll I give got you rid an of the I'm individual gonna, finish, mandate. I'm give you an Excuse me. I got rid I... of the individual mandate. I'm not here to call out his lies. Everybody knows he's a liar. But you, I agree. just want to make sure. Joe, you're the liar. I, I, I want to make sure. You graduated last in your class, not first in your class. I, <laughs> I want to make Mr. sure. Mr. President, can you let him finish, sir? You question put a is, lot of the new question Supreme is, Court is the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, your, man? Listen. One of the big debates we had with 23 of my colleagues trying to win the nomination that I won were saying that Biden wanted to allow people to have private insurance still. They can. They do. They will under my proposal. It's not what you've said, but and it's not what your is, party has said. That is simply Your party a lie. doesn't say it. Your party wants simple. to go socialist my medicine party is and me. socialist right health care. Right now, I am the Democratic And they're going to dominate party. you, Joe. You know that. I am the Democratic Party right now. The platform of the not Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. Is it true that you paid $750 in federal income taxes each of those two years? I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. So let me just say something that it was the tax laws. I don't want to pay tax. Be before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. I'm going to eliminate the Trump tax cuts, and we're going to, we're, I'm going to eliminate those tax okay. cuts and make sure that we invest in the people who, in fact, need the help. People out there need help. But why didn't I you do it over 20, uh, the no, last no, no, 25 wait, no, years? No, because you weren't you president, you it because you weren't president screwing no, no, things no, no. up. You were a senator. And You're the, the worst way, you president vice, America has <laughs> ever had. Hey, hey, Come Joe, on. Me, you have repeatedly we, criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing right. extremist groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland? Sure, are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, but do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left-wing. Not from the right so wing. So what are you? What are you, you look, what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and right boys. White supremacists and right boys. Proud boys, stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left because this is not a right his wing own, problem. This own is a FBI left wing. Director this said is a left wing problem. Are you? Questioning no, the, I think the masks are okay. Of, of you have masks. to understand, if you look, I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. Tonight, <laughs> as an example, everybody's had a test and you've had social distancing and all of the things that you have to. But I Just wear like masks rallies. when needed. When needed, I wear masks. Okay, let me ask. I don't have, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it, he shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. Masks make a big difference. His own head of the CDC said if we just wore masks between now, if there, everybody wore masks in social distance between now and January, we'd probably save up to 100,000 lives. It matters. And they've also it said matters. the opposite. They've and also said no, the opposite. No serious person said the opposite. The fact is that there are going to be millions of people because of COVID that are going to be voting by mail and ballots, like he does, by the way. And this is all about trying to dissuade people from voting because he's trying to, con to scare people into thinking that it's not going to be legitimate. As far as the ballots are concerned, it's a disaster. A solicited ballot. OK, solicited is OK. You're soliciting. You're asking. They send it back. You send it back. I did that. This is going to be a fraud like you've never seen. The other thing, it's nice on November 3rd, you're watching and you see who won the election. And I think we're going to do well because people are really happy with the job we've done. But you know what? We won't know. We might not know for months because these ballots are going to be all over. Now that millions of mail-in ballots have gone out, what are you going to do about it? And are you counting on the Supreme Court, including a Justice Barrett, to settle any dispute? Yeah, I, th I think I'm counting on them to look at the ballots, definitely. I don't think we'll, I hope we don't need them in terms of the election itself. But for the ballots, I think so. I'm urging first. my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully. 
because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. I am urging my people. I hope it's going to be a fair election. If it's a fair You're election, what? I am 100 percent on board. But if I see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated, I can't go along with that. Here's the deal. They count the ballots, as you pointed out. Some of these ballots in some states can't even be opened until Election Day. And if there's thousands of ballots, it's going to take time to do it. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail-in ballots, that somehow it's a fraudulent process. It's already been established. He has no idea what he's talking about. Here's the deal. The fact is, I will accept it, and he will too. You know why? Because once the winner is declared after all the, all the ballots are counted, all the votes are counted, That'll be the end of it. I do. I do. If we just wore these masks, the president's own advisors have told him, we could save 100,000 lives. And we're in a circumstance where the president thus far and still has no plan, no comprehensive plan. You also said a vaccine will be coming within weeks. Yes. Is that a guarantee? Is, no, it's is not this... a guarantee, but it will be by the end of the year. But I think it has a good chance. There are two companies, I think, within a matter of weeks, and it will be distributed very quickly. This is the same fellow who told you this is going to end by Easter last time. This is the same fellow who told you that, don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter. And he has no clear plan, and there's no prospect that there's going to be a vaccine available for the majority of the American people before the middle of next year. President Trump, your reaction, he says you have no plan. I don't think we're going to have a dark winter at all. We're opening up our country. We've learned and studied and understand the disease. He says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. You folks home will have an empty chair at the kitchen table this morning. That man or wife going to bed tonight and reaching over to try to touch their out of habit where their wife or husband was is gone. Learning to live with it. Come on. We're dying with it. Take full responsibility. It's not my fault that it came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's not Joe's fault that it came here either. It's China's fault. First of all, I've already done something that nobody thought was possible. Through the legislature, I terminated the individual mandate. That is the worst part of Obamacare. Health. He's talking about socialized medicine and when he and, and health care. When he talks about a public option, he's talking about destroying your Medicare, totally Wrong. destroyed, and destroying your Social Security. And this whole country will come down. You know, Bernie Sanders tried it Bernie. in his state. He tried it in his state. His governor was a very liberal governor. They want to make it work. Okay, it, let's hear. It let's let Vice President Biden respond. Work. It doesn't Vice work. President he's Biden a very responds. confused guy. He thinks he's running against somebody else. He's running against Joe Biden. I beat all those other people because I disagreed with them. Joe Biden he's running against. Mr. President, your administration separated children from their parents at the border, at least 4,000 kids. You've since reversed your zero tolerance policy, but the United States can't locate the parents of more than 500 children. So how will these families ever be reunited? Uh, Children are brought here by coyotes and lots of bad people, cartels, and they're brought here and they used to use them to get into our country. We now have as strong a border as we've ever had. We're over 400 miles of brand new wall. You see the numbers and we let people in, but they have to come in legally. These 500 plus kids came with parents. They separated them at the border to make it a disincentive to come to begin with. They, real tough, we're really strong. And guess what? They cannot, it's not coyotes didn't bring them over. Their parents were with them. They got separated from their parents. And it makes us a laughing stock and violates every notion of who we are as a nation. The black parent, no matter how wealthy or how poor they are, has to teach their child when you're walking down the street don't have a hoodie on when you go across the street, making sure that you, in fact, if you get pulled over, just yes, yes, sir, no, sir, hands on top of the wheel, because you are, in fact, the victim, whether you're a person making 300000 child of a $300,000 a year person or someone who's on, on, on food stamps. I got criminal justice reform done and prison reform and opportunity zones. I took care of black colleges and universities. I don't know what to say. They can say anything. I mean, they can say anything. It's a very, it makes me sad because I am, I I am the least racist person. I can't even see the audience because it's so dark. 
But I don't care who's in the audience. I'm the least racist person in this room. He pours fuel on every single racist fire. Every single one. Started off his campaign coming down the escalator saying he's going to get rid of those Mexican rapists. He's banned Muslims because they're Muslims. He has moved around and made everything worse across the board. I have one final question. Would he close down the oil industry? It falls. Would you close down the oil industry? By the way, I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, that's a big statement. It is a big statement. That's a big statement. Because I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh, I see. Here's the deal. But That's you can't a big do statement. That. Well, if you let me finish the statement, because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time, over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry. I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. He won't give federal subsidies to the, to the gas, excuse me, to the to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? Imagine this is your inauguration day. What will you say in your address to to Americans who did not vote for you? We have to make a country totally successful, as it was prior to the plague coming in from China. Success is going to bring us together. We are on the road to success. But I'm cutting taxes, and he wants to raise everybody's taxes, and he wants to put new regulations on everything. What is on the ballot here is the character of this country. Decency, honor, respect, treating people with dignity, making sure that everyone has an even chance. And I'm going to make sure you get that. You haven't been getting it the last four years.